Hello everyone, it's Pharmacist Michael, and today I'm going to make you a couple of different things. I'm gonna start with the chicken. I'm just gonna make my normal air fryer chicken, and I'm going to show you what rub I put on there. I've got this little air fryer. I don't have my big one because I'm at the beach, so I got this one for my mom. I'm gonna use it for this. Um, and then I'm going to make you something I learned on Instagram on how to make cauliflower so your kids might even eat it. So let's get going on this. Let me show you what I got here. So my spices are down here. As you can see, I've got a teaspoon of brown sugar, about a teaspoon of paprika, about a teaspoon of oregano. I've got a half a teaspoon of garlic powder, a half a teaspoon of onion powder. I have about a quarter of a teaspoon of salt and a quarter of a teaspoon of pepper. Now, you can adjust these spices as you like to make it taste the way you like it. I like a lot of pepper. I like a lot of paprika. So I'm gonna take all of these and I'm just gonna put them in this bowl. And then I'm gonna get a spoon. I don't have a lot of utensils here because it's just me, but I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna mix it up really good. And I'm gonna use this olive oil for my next dish too. That's probably about all I need for this. I'm gonna rub it around just with my hands on the chicken, both sides. And then I am going to wipe my hands off. And I'm gonna take this spoon and I'm just going to put a good amount of this on each of these. It's where you get your taste from, right? If you don't have the spices, it's just not gonna taste right. And then I'm going to just pat it in there and the thing I like about making this kind of chicken is if you make a lot of this at one time, you can use this all week for salads, you can make burritos with it, whatever you want, but there we go. And believe it or not, first dish is already done. That's all I got to do. So I am going to take a little bit of this olive oil and I'm going to pour it on this paper towel and I'm just going to rub the bottom of this air fryer. And then I'm gonna stick this in there, just like that. You can see what that looks like. It's just sitting right in there like that. And then we're gonna put this in here. And I'm thinking this is probably gonna take 15 minutes. Gotta plug it in first. It doesn't work very well if you don't plug it in first. We're gonna turn this on 400, which is as high as this one goes. And then we're gonna turn this on about eight minutes. And I'm gonna set another timer just to make sure because I don't know if I trust these things that well. So I'm gonna set my, my microwave for timer for eight minutes and then we'll flip it over. Okay guys, so now while my chicken is cooking, I just broke up a cauliflower head. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna boil it for about 10 to 12 minutes. I added about a teaspoon of salt to it. So I'm gonna cover it up and I'm gonna set the timer for 12 minutes. And then I'm gonna drain this, I'm gonna cut it up. We're gonna add an egg to it. Cauliflower's been boiling for about 10 or 11 minutes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to get a slitted spoon, I'm gonna put it in this bowl, and I'm gonna crack an egg into it. Now it depends on how much cauliflower you use, it's just me, so I'm only gonna make a few of these patties, but if you have a full family, you can use more than one head of cauliflower, right? Now, personally, I like cauliflower. You can see it there. I'm gonna crack this egg into that. I usually always crack my eggs into something first. And then I'm gonna take this immersion blender and I'm gonna try to blend this up. If you need something to blend it up. It would just be too hard to do it without this. So, and then to this, I am going to add about a half a cup of breadcrumbs. I'm gonna add the breadcrumbs. Some salt and pepper to that. That was good. We're hopeful we'll get the kids to eat this. You know, this I'm gonna try it out first though before I take it home to them because I wanna make sure that it's good enough, at least for me, right? Okay, and then 
I've got about a half of a jalapeno pepper. Of course, for the kids, I would leave that out. And I have some cilantro here. I'm gonna put that in there. I would definitely not add the pepper if the kids were involved here. And about a half a cup of jack cheese. Now, when I saw them do it on Instagram, they use mozzarella cheese, but I don't like mozzarella cheese because it doesn't have enough of a flavor. I'd much rather use jack cheese. So then I'm gonna stir that up here as well. And then I'm gonna get a little bit of olive oil on my hands. I'm gonna form these into patties. And then I'm going to dip them in flour. And I'm gonna use wheat flour because I don't like to use white flour. People that follow me on TikTok know I I try to stay away from white carbs if I can. So that's white pasta, white rice, white potatoes, and white flour. I try. Now sometimes you can't. If you're making a cake, you don't want to use wheat flour, usually, right? So, so there we go, I got that done. Now, I got my little pan here. Don't need my knife anymore. I'm gonna put a little olive oil on my hands. I ended up with a lot more than a little bit. That's okay. And the reason I'm doing that is because I want to keep them from sticking. And then I'm just going to make these into patties like this. And then a flour just like that. And set them in there. Okay guys, so I double checked the recipe on the cauliflower. And you bake it at 350 for about 15 minutes. And then I'm going to take it out I'm gonna put a little olive oil on the top, then I'm gonna shove it back into the oven for another 25 minutes. Okay guys, we're to the last part here. I'm gonna take these cauliflower cakes out of the oven, and I'm gonna add a little flour to the top of them, and then I am just going to put it back in the oven for about another 25 minutes. So there they are. Actually, I don't know if they, some of them need maybe a little bit more flour, but I don't think most of them do. Just sprinkle a little bit on this one and this one. They feel about the right consistency. I think they're gonna be super good, guys. Now the secret is not to get too much oil on there. This is the hard part. Just try to drizzle some on the top to help it get a... You know, olive oil is really good for you guys. It's one of the healthiest oils that you can consume. So now, 25 more minutes, it's going in. We'll be right back with you to see how they turn out. Okay, everyone, the wait is over. I now have the cauliflower cakes out of the oven. I'm gonna take one of these little guys and I'm gonna stick it on here. I just wanna see what they taste like. I think I would... <laughs> I, I mean, if you look at them, they're, they're steaming so much. If I, if I take a bite of one of these right now, it's probably gonna burn me. So, but this is what they look like. You can see, they look pretty good. Mmm, those are very good. They're very good. I would definitely leave out the jalapeno peppers for the kids. They're not real spicy, but they got that pepper flavor and I'm not sure they would like that. I'm, I'm impressed. And give them a try. They're a lot better than just regular cauliflower, that's for sure. And the thing is, with your chicken, here's my chicken, this is all you need. You've got your protein, you've got your breadcrumbs within your cauliflower cake, you've got your vegetables, you got everything you need right here with this, these two things. So I strongly suggest this. If you know somebody who you think might enjoy this meal, please send this video to them. Please give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe to my channel for more happy, healthy living ideas. Leave me a comment if you can think of something that you would like to see in the future. My name is Pharmacist Michael, be happy. Please be healthy. I'll see you very soon.